Imagine you have a circular pizza with a diameter of 16 units. The pizza is cut so that two perpendicular diameters are each divided into four equal lengths. Your job is to find the area of this shaded corner piece. Can you do it? Pause the video and try it yourself. All right, let's solve this step by step. First, notice that the full pizza has a radius of eight. So the area of the entire circle is pi times eight squared, which equals 64 pi. This value will be important, so let's keep it in mind. Now look at the grid formed by the cuts. These cuts create four central squares, each with side length four. That means each small square has an area of 16, and together, the central square region has an area of 64. Let's set this aside as well. Now consider everything inside the circle but outside the central squares. We can find that area by subtracting the squares area from the circles area. That gives us 64 pi minus 64. Next, let's organize this remaining region. Around the edges, there are eight identical side pieces and four identical corner pieces. Let the area of one side piece be S and the area of one corner piece be C. So this same area can also be written as 8S plus 4C. Setting the two expressions equal and factoring out four, we get our first equation, 2S plus C equals 16 pi minus 16. Now we need one more equation. Look at the segment of the diameter. It's four units long. If we extend a radius to the corner, we form a right triangle. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we can find the missing side. This allows us to calculate the area of the right triangle, which turns out to be eight square root three. Let's keep that result. Now focus on this angle, theta. The cosine of theta is four divided by eight, which simplifies to one half. Taking the inverse cosine of one half gives us an angle of 60 degrees. Because the figure is symmetric, we can mirror this triangle to form a larger isosceles triangle. Its area is twice the area of the right triangle which gives us 16 square root three. Set that aside. Now clean up the isosceles triangle. The vertex angle is 120 degrees. When we move this triangle back into the circle, that same angle becomes a central angle for a sector. The area of the sector is the angle over 360 degrees times pi r squared. Substituting the values gives a sector area of 64 pi over three. But we're interested in this curved region, not the full sector. This area can be found by subtracting the triangle's area from the sector's area. That leaves us with 64 pi over three minus 16 square root three. Now here's the key insight. This same curved region is made up of two side pieces and two corner pieces. So its area can also be written as 2s plus 2c. Setting these equal gives us our second equation. Now multiply the first equation by negative one and add it to the second equation. The side pieces cancel out perfectly. Simplifying what remains gives the area of one corner piece. And that is the exact area of the shaded pizza corner. Did you get the same result? Share how you approached it in the comments.